It's uh, six days after surgery and uh, three days in, in rehab in, uh, in Vermont. The surgery was New Hampshire, the, the rehab was in Vermont. And I'm walking around and I'm doing fine. Um, the reason I want to make this little video is, is about uh, the role of uh, blood in recovery, the importance of blood. Everybody knows we lose blood from surgery and uh, when we recover it we feel stronger, we feel more ourselves and we should uh, prepare for surgery and and uh, recovery by supplementing our, our blood. But it's what's interesting is the, the comparison and contrast to the role of blood in Western medicine and, and in traditional Chinese medicine, which I'm more familiar with. Um, in, in Western medicine, the spleen and the pancreas are important for digestion and for making enzymes and for supporting blood production and for keeping the blood vessels um, in good shape so that you don't bruise too much. So they're very important in, in regulating um, blood. And the spleen especially is involved in um, purifying the body of dead blood cells. It happens all the time. After injury and stress, uh, blood cells die. Now, what's becoming more and more uh, popular is to give uh, blood transfusions with surgery. And with a blood transfusion, you have good live blood cells, but you also have some dead cells because it's been on the shelf waiting for its use for a little while. So the, the dead blood cells have to be eliminated from the body. We, don't, we can't use fresh blood unless we're talking about Dracula. So uh, in a hospital setting, in, a, in an emergency setting, you're going to get blood that has been uh, preserved and purified, but it will contain dead blood cells. That's going to stress the pancreas and the spleen. Uh, it will have to work harder. Uh, and in Chinese medicine, the spleen and the pancreas, seen together as a unit, are involved in digestion because of making certain hormones like um, insulin and, and the hormones that we know, um, pancreatin, um, involved in digestion and also in keeping the blood in its proper place, uh, helping to prevent um, bruises and edema. These are major factors after surgery. You're going to get bruised, and you're going to get a lot of water retention, and you might get a fever also because if you get a blood transfusion, your body's going to have to work harder to get rid of the dead blood cells. This is what happened to me. I was given a transfusion, and I had a fever for um, 99, 100 for several days until things started to regulate. Now, after the um, acupuncture treatment that I had yesterday in the hospital, which strengthened my digestion and brought down inflammation um, using points that it's in a separate video. The acupuncturist used large intestine uh, 10 and um, 4 and stomach uh, 36 and, and spleen 6 to, to strengthen digestion and to reach in with the, the nervous, through the nervous system and the lymph system into the deeper energies to help fortify digestion and elimination. So the things that you're going to experience after surgery, such as uh, constipation, dizziness, fever, can all be improved by addressing the, the deeper energies with uh, acupuncture. And this is, this is what happened for me. I started to revive, and I could breathe deeper. The doctors and nurses um, after surgery were saying that my breath is too shallow, that I needed more oxygen, and they gave me this contraption and said, breathe into it to deepen your breath. And uh, it, it, um, it has its, its benefits. This is Western medicine. You can, you can see the results here when you're breathing deeper. Um, and uh, it gives you something to do. I think actually um, the deep diaphragmatic yoga breathing is more effective because you're not focusing on here, you're focusing on the abdomen. Now, the acupuncture reached through the meridians, <coughs> the meridian <coughs> system into the intestine, engaged it, and brought inflammation down. And after the acupuncture, my breath increased, my breath capacity doubled. So here uh, we had 
in a, in a simple, uh, ex simple um, experiment, well, in a simple uh, treatment, uh, something very effective for enhancing oxygen, which means better energy, less uh, stress on the, on the body, uh, less infection. Um, this is also given to um, help prevent pneumonia. So the, the combination, the complementary combination of the surgery, the antibiotics, the close monitoring that is part of Western medicine, that's the, the epitome of Western medicine, uh, waking you up in the middle of the night to take your, your blood pressure and, and uh, taking blood samples at all hours. Uh, this is the, the great strength of Western medicine, to be able to observe very, in a very detailed way what happens. The genius of Asian medicine is to help create a better sense of wholeness, to engage the deeper energies, the subtle energies, to fortify wellness, and to um, help to speed the healing process in a way that doesn't stress the body and supports what is naturally weak in us. Now, I'm a, um, not heavy, I'm, I'm sort of medium weight. weight. Um, my energy is rather transparent. I respond very, very quickly to uh, treatments. Uh, I don't use painkillers. So my response to the acupuncture is going to be much stronger than someone who is very sick or very obese. But there still is a great advantage. The advantage is after surgery, after accident, uh, if you use a therapy that uh, creates a sense of well-being and wholeness and facilitates digestion and breathing, you're going to speed healing.